Masri, BBC Look North, Sheffield. What an amazing find that was. Mm. Now, we're often contacted here at Look North by people with a story to tell about something amazing they've done for charity. Problem is, for every incredible feat, there's often someone who's done that bit more. But our next guest will really take some beating. 34-year-old Imran Mughal from Leeds has just ridden his bicycle 25,000 miles around the, the world to uh, raise money for good causes. Well, we'll be talking to him in a moment, but first, here's a look at some of his journey. <laughs> I think I caught the back end of the monsoon season here. But it's nice. I'm getting a free clothes wash as well. Um, this is about 10 miles in the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur, so probably can get there one piece. Singapore is about 300 miles from here, so hopefully do it in three days. It's so busy, and maybe the journey's very thin on me, I don't know. 12,000 miles, I finally made it here to Singapore. Next time I have rice, and just think about how it initially gets in your plate. This amazing journey I've had for the last 15 months is coming to an end. Wow, some amazing scenes there, Imran. Was it 33 countries? It 33 just give us a flavour of some of the places you visited. Um, I, I saw the Silk Road in Iran, the Taj Mahal, the Petrona Towers, the Sydney, Sydney Arbor Bridge, the steepest street in the world in New Zealand. Uh, San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge, Yellowstone, uh, New York, and you know that's just some of the well done. How many there. punches? So, you know, I didn't get my first punch until 16,300 miles into the journey, and that was in Australia. I'm going to say, was it in one set of tyres? One tires? set of tyres. I think it's a world record for that as well. Now, you were shot at, I think, in Bosnia, but you had a bit of an incident in Georgia. I know the story's quite a complicated one, but yeah. you got through it by yeah. showing some magic. Yeah, basically, I, was just, I, I, I came across the wall of discrimination, and I came later that day when I was initially denied entry, and I came back, faced the officials, showed them some card magic, and pressed the hell out of them, and they <laughs> said, welcome to Georgia. Now, you're only planning to go as far as Singapore. Pool, but you ended up, you kept going. What kept you going? Because, I mean, I've seen the pictures. Sometimes yeah. you were knee-deep in water. You, yeah. you passed through <laughs> monsoons. I mean, it's quite challenging out there, wasn't it? Uh, um, uh, you know, Singapore was, uh, although I advertised, I told people I would go to Singapore, that was merely my checkpoint. I would assess how I was doing physically and mentally. And then when I got to Singapore, that's when I realised that, right, I'm going to try and go around the world. Absolutely Hopefully. amazing. And just remind us how much you raised and why you did it. I've raised, I've raised uh, four thousand, almost four thousand pounds, and I did it for Charity Water, which it provides clean drinking water to communities throughout the world, clean portable drinking water to those who don't have access to that water. So it's a really worthwhile cause, and 100% of your donations goes towards that cause as well. We got the point. Well done. Thank well you done. so much. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, finally tonight, the lottery grant for.